All right, so today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the best AK-74 you class it up here in Black Ops Cold War. So real quick, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Now, if we get a like goal today of 500 likes in our 24 hours, that'd be much appreciated. I think we can. This was going to be the big like. I have never put big like goals, but I want to see if we can do it. But anyways, guys, real quick. In the comment section and as well as the in the description, my Twitch link is going to be there. Make sure to go hit that follow button and turn on all notice. I live stream daily. I, the crazy gameplays go there and the streams have been absolutely wild. So if you guys want to have a great time, just a fun time and everything, make sure to go over there. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight up into the class setup. All right, so this class setup has no recoil. It's super overpowered and you guys are really going to love using this class setup. Now, you are going to want to throw on the Gunfighter Wild Card. Now, honestly, when it comes to, you know, the Wild Card stuff, people are going to be like, why don't you run Perk Greed? Perk Greed's better. Well, I think actually having, you're using your gun more than you are your perks. So, you need to have your gun more overpowered than your perks. But plus, with my perk lineup, I think it's already good enough to not have to run an additional three perks. So, we'll get to that. But anyways, guys, for the first attachment, throw on the Microflex LED. You're going to probably be like, all right, P. You're bugging, bro. You're bugging. No. Th th this is really good. It helps you just kind of control your shot a little bit more with the red dot. And most people prefer a red dot sight anyway. So, I have this on. I wanted to try this class. It's uh, it's really nice so far. Now, the next attachment is going to be pretty important as well. This is going to be the KG be eliminator this can help with 17 percent more vertical recoil control now having control of your weapon is this by far the most important thing on a weapon and just in general as well you know having control of your weapon that's going to win your gunfights that's going to basically that's the most important thing right there just that's what's going to get you to win your gunfights of having control of your am like your guns your ammo and everything like that because you need to hit those shots to you know get the kills and just continue just going crazy now, our next attachment is going to be the Liberator Barrel. This can help with 100% more bullet velocity. Now, this means our bullets will be traveling faster in air, which we're going to be getting 1,000 meters per second, which is pretty overpowered, all right? That's really, really good. So, um, the Liberator Barrel is going to be very, very helpful when it comes to when uh, enemies are getting at a little bit farther distance and stuff, which, you know, this gun has no recoil. And, I mean, the bullets, as you see, 1,000 meters per second is pretty quick, so that's really nice. Now, for our next attachment here, it's going to be the Steady Aim Laser. I only use this. This helps with hip fire accuracy. We don't have any cons, which is very nice. So, this is something I run. The next attachment is going to be the Spetnaz Grip. This is going to help with 6% uh, more vertical recoil control and 20% more horizontal. So, basically, as you see here, our gun has no uh, recoil anymore. Uh, as you see, the accuracy bar is like almost to the max. So, that is very very helpful so you need this it's going to be the life-changing attachment here it's going to be very nice the next attachment is going to be the 50 round fast mag this is going to be very helpful just to uh, not have to reload as much while in game you're going to have more ammo to start off with and as well hold more ammo in the reserve so you i think it's about 200 and 40 235 somewhere in that neighborhood it's in the 240 areas or two it's past 230 definitely but this is very helpful so you don't have to run scavenger or if you do run scavenger you're basically never just going to run out of ammo which is really nice our next attachment is going to be the uh, the grew elastic wrap this can help with 30 percent more aim down sight speed 90 percent more flinch resistance and as well aim down sight well you can be able to aim down sight while going prone so you have toughness you can drop shot while aiming down sights, and as well, you can aim down sights faster, which can be helpful in gunfights. And then finally, to our perk uh, or our attachment here is going to be the KGB Skeletal Stock. This can help with 30% more sprint to fire speed, so you shoot faster off a sprint, and as well, 10% more aim walking movement speed, which is very nice as well. This is going to help you just, you know, just have more movement while aiming down sight. But I am using the dual Dematis. Make sure you try these out, guys. They're so overpowered. But I'm using Stemshot, C4, Field Mike with Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Spycraft. And most importantly, the Gunfighter Wildcard. But that is it for the class setup, guys. These gameplays for my Twitch, like I said, go follow me on Twitch. I live stream daily, so if you guys could, make sure to do that. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.
No. Dude, okay, so this is this is good. Okay. This is really good. This is really good. We'll have 160 points just to slay out. That means I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get a, a, a kill a minute, or a kill a point. It's good. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No. Shit. Dude, I hate the M16 up close. It's literally a one shot. I hate it when I'm not using it. Alright, let me uh, destroy all those. The spawn protection, that, it, it gotta go. Spawn protection gotta go. No, 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 no. Cafe, let me push the spawn back here. Oh, my God! You said a bug having different. 
What am I hearing, bro? I just got killed by gas. No way he got that lucky and got a hip a random hip fire like that. Mmm. I'm not big on sweets to be honest. But I mean like I mean I I eat I, I eat marshmallows, like I don't eat like a bunch of them. Like I might have like two or three, but then that nah I can't do that. Like that's that's too much sweets. How would I cap? I've never had cavities. Yeah, I know. I'm not big on sweets. Yeah, I'm positive. Or if I do eat a lot of sweets, I might I'll brush my teeth immediately. I can't I can't do that. Oh shit, JV, you don't even want to know what the fuck happened yesterday. It's not telling, bro. Listen to this bullshit. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Bully knows it. Never fucking mind. I'll tell you after stream. I, I think it's funny at the end of the day, but like... Yeah, I'm like, I'm literally cracked this game. I mean, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, I mean, at the end of the... 165 kills, oh my god, bro. Mm, a gun in general, I mean, they're pretty expensive. I mean, you saw the... You saw the... I'm... Hey, hey, uh, JV, did you see that, uh, the Chris Vector on that website they were selling for, like, 600 bucks? Look, uh, scroll up a little bit. I, uh... 
there's a web well there's like a gun company that uh, sells Chris vectors I don't think they're automatic but I think they're like semi but uh, they have like a 17 mag round, like a round mag and uh, about well I mean I mean this is a uh, you know real life here not uh I don't even see these people they're playing weird what hey that oh no he got me That was a pretty quick nuke. I'm gonna have to time that one, see how fast that was. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I can't aim straight. Yeah, that was a good round. That was a good round. Yeah, that was a pretty quick nuke. No, uh, I'll have to, I'll have to time that one. Yo, P, can I have some tips on Modern Warfare to get a nuke? Uh, I mean, if you're trying to get the, uh, the calling card, definitely just play it slow. I mean, uh, if you need to play Ground War, that's what I would do for your first nuke. Run like UAV, portable radar, and uh, personal radar, portable. Uh, deal. I don't even know what it's called. I don't remember. Um. Uh, and then run it like the advanced UAV and just kind of space them out, you know, like maybe call on your personal radar at the beginning and then later on Yeah, but hundred percent hundred percent when you're on a 20 that's when you use your advanced UAV Don't use it any other time. I need to go back here in the spawn and put my uh, sentry gun uh, yeah, the the seven the seven four U is just it, it's it's a beautiful weapon. It's always been good, and every multiplayer COD has been in, it's just been just beautiful. I I knew that was gonna kill me. Yeah. Teammate, teammate. Is that is that two kill chains this game? I don't really know where they're spawning at. We're on a 19 right now. Throw that gas mine down. We got another sentry turn. I think I may put this one over here. I kind of want them to spawn over here. And I'm dead. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. War Machine. All right. Uh... Oh, I'm sad. Oh, got a got one across the map. Bingo. 27, 28, 29. Oh, did a teammate get a harp too?
Oh, uh, here, definitely need to throw this over here. Come on, P. Go, 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 go. Uh, should I use specialist bonus? Nah, if you're trying to get your first nuke, you definitely want to use your, uh... You want to use stuff to help you look at the mini-map. You gotta look at that mini-map, too. If, if you don't look at your mini-map, you're not gonna get that nuke. Yeah, you will... You will have the curse. But once you drop your first nuke, it's... It kind of gets easier after that. Dead. No, I'm not. Oh, my teammate saved me. Let's go, 130 and 3. That could have been a triple nuke, too. Oh, my God.